video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial for Illustrator CC 2015.2, I'm going to show you the ellipse tool and the new live shape feature and pie slice and how to use it with a live effect transform in this case. Now, just go over here to the ellipse tool. I'm just going to quickly create an ellipse. You can just see the center point appearing there. So I've just got this design here. Now, what you can do, actually just go over here to the little pie slice section then you can just change the pie slice and I'm just going to go very very thin pie slice so I've got this pie slice here now what you can do then just go to effect and distort and transform the transform option there and key thing here is always to set the preview on unfortunately it's not a sticky feature so we'll always just go back to being not on which is slightly frustrating I wish it was actually a sticky feature but right you can set the center of rotation. You can obviously just put that or reference point, whatever you want to call it, rotation center. Just change that. Also, you can change the angle, and I'm just going to go for five, and you can just see it move around there. You can just see it obviously center there. If I just change it there, you can just see it rotate around that. Make number of copies. So you can go say like for 40, and you can just see them all going around, maybe 30. And it, just tweak this angle so you can just sort of say 12. So you can actually just sit like, like that. You can also move the center so you can make a sort of bigger center there. Move that as well. And you can create a whole range of different shapes just by going around like that. Now, click OK at that point. Now, still a live effect. So if you actually decide, I don't want that uh, size, I can actually just change the pie slice to make it a bit bigger. That's still live and if you decide again you want to change the just go over here click on the appearance palette just click the transform option there and then you can change the angles you can just go key thing put the preview again like I say it's not sticky unfortunately it just decides to lose that so you can move that around and you can obviously change that change the where it goes there the center so you can just go for that one there another option just again change the angle and you got that. Right, simple as that. Just quickly click OK and you've got an instant sort of zoom dramatic effect in Illustrator. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.